last minute Easter and spring decor. I'm going to show you how easy and quickly I made some hacks and dupes. Hello, my darlings. I am C and this is CJ DIY. Barb from the Shabby 3 made this beautiful shabby chic frame with bunny for Easter and I wanted to make my own version. She is amazing and I'm gonna list her channels in my description box so you can visit her and see what kind of beautiful things she's creating. This table runner is from Hobby Lobby. I got it on clearance last year after Easter for $2.99 and I cut off the end portions of it with those beautiful bunny and the French print and I think it's gonna match perfectly with these beautiful frames. I got those frames from Hobby Lobby on clearance long time ago and now I just wanna use them again and I'm gonna add those beautiful bunny from the runner and see how they're gonna look. One will be horizontally, the other one will be vertically. So I took a pencil and I'm just going around the edges and make sure to see where I'm gonna cut them before I add them to the frames. Barb made hers uh, from a table runner as well, but she got hers from Home Goods. So keep that in mind. After Easter, just grab all the runners or tablecloth and we can make a beautiful Easter and spring decor with that. So now I took my fabric glue, I put it around the edges of the frame and now where I didn't put the fabric glue, I added a hot glue, hot Gorilla glue, and now I'm gonna add my print. First, I add the top of that, but since it's like a see-through, I also gonna add the back material that it came with that table runner and we're gonna have a beautiful shabby chic look i am also cutting the extra extensions that they're going outside of that round frame i'm also adding the second layer of the fabric on the back of the frame so we can have a better coverage and the the print can show up more clear i mean it's not see-through but having that coverage on the back, it just give it more perfection to it. This is how our horizontal frame looks so far. I have also made a simple four loop bow out of this bunny ribbon that I got also on clearance last year at Hobby Lobby. I only pay a few cents for it. I wasn't sure if I'm gonna add it to the frames yet. So just in case I made two bows of them because like I said, we're gonna make two frames, one horizontal, one vertical and uh, super simple when you have a nice ribbon you can make a beautiful easy bow now i'm gonna do the same thing like i did on my horizontal i'm gonna do a vertical version of this french print bunny and super simple and easy hack that i do from barb's version and i hope you like it and i hope barb will like it too i sent her some pictures and she really liked them and now, just to give an extra bling bling, I'm adding these totally dazzled brooches. I'm not sure which of those I'm gonna be adding. And I ended up adding two mini brooches to the horizontal one and one large one on the vertical one. And here, how they look together. I am in love with them. They're so beautiful. They're like a shabby, chic, modern, vintage, 
French country, whatever you like to call it. Definitely my style. Beautiful, natural look. Let me know what do you think. My next inspiration is another creation from Miss Barb from The Shabby Tree. And I watched her live on Instagram when she was making these large egg cloches. And I thought to myself, I'm going to make for myself as well. She's amazing. Like I said, super talented, creating beautiful creations. You should visit her. I grabbed two of those large egg glass cloches from target spot and i'm gonna make my own version i have those lace socks that previously i paint them in a linen chalk paint because i wanted them to be darker version and i'm gonna cover my eggs with them those socks you can order them from amazon and they're just perfect you're gonna stretch them out and you're gonna put them on top of the glass egg shape super simple and easy just like so going over until it's all nice and stretched out i cut off the extra edges and also on the bottom i'm gonna glue it to make it more sturdy right there around the edges i'm just adding a hot glue and i'm just adding the material on top of that I'm repeating the same thing to my second egg and I'm telling you those are so high end I am in love with them I should make more so I can give them away they're beautiful to my family or friends they're just the perfect decor centerpieces for Easter now when they're all nice and ready i added some led candles just to see how they're gonna look but i'm gonna switch those led candles to a different color i have a cream one smaller ones and now on top to cover that part of the sock i'm gonna be adding some greeneries and some flowers i want to make sure which of those greeneries first i'm gonna be using before i, I am gluing them and both of my eggs will be covered with all those beautiful greeneries and flowers and super simple and quick and easy diy and barb thank you so much for inspirations you are amazing Let me know so far, what do you think about my version of creations today? And if you're planning to recreate something for your home or for your loved ones, and you should let me know. While you watching me, decorating these beautiful eggs or cloches or whatever you like to call them i would like to say thank you so much for always being supportive to my channel and leaving me the best comments and i hope i am giving you lots of inspirations for you to create and if you do something similar like my creations i would like to see pictures so please send them to me i will always love to share them with everybody when i'm done with the one egg with all those greeneries and florals i'm also adding those beautiful butterflies that i got in my crafting stash and we're gonna add one on top and one it's gonna be on the bottom and i think it's just perfect i think barb added a uh, butterflies on hers too and let me know how i did I have also added some lamb ear leaves just for extra texture and more colorful beautiness on top of my egg cloches and here is the second one as well added a different color of butterfly 
next to it and I think they're just beautiful. To add my cloches, I'm going to be using these candle holders that I got from thrift store. They, I got them for like a dollar or two dollar each. I made a ring out of that lamb ear uh, garland and I added my cloches. As you can see, I added another butterfly on that ring as well. And this beautiful piece is done almost because I think I'll, I'm adding more stuff to it. I'm adding those antennas, golden antennas. I, whatever I find in my crafting stash, I'm just keep going back and forth and I'm just keep adding more embellishments and that's it. And here is a comparement, mine versus Barb's. You gotta let me know what do you think and if you like it. For my next creation, I was inspired by these linen pillows from Wayfair. The price is, look at the price, $43. And I'm going to make my own version. I got these fabric napkins and I also got them from Hobby Lobby last year. And I only paid 25 cents for them after Easter. And look how beautiful they are and look how big they are as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a French print pillows and they're going to be just perfect. So I just want to see how I'm going to do them first. Super simple and easy. They were so easy to be worked on because they have all those lines on the edges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a fabric glue on each side and we're going to add some filling and that's it. Super simple. We don't even need no sewing in this fabric. That uh, glue, uh, fabric glue help perfect just like we saw it. So anyway, I'm just going around the edges. Make sure I add the glue on the, on the side first. And we're gonna leave the bottom open. Super simple. The secret from this fabric glue is you gotta keep it at least one hour and let it dry. And after that, you can do whatever you like to do with your fabrics. So now after I glue both sides, I let it sit for a while and when it's all nice and dry i am adding the filler cotton filler for my pillow and i want to make sure it's first filled the edges and then in the middle and all that it's like a fluffy and full i think i should have had more but it still look good so like i said i'm going the edges and in the middle and then on the side and then we're gonna glue the bottom portion as well. Now when my filler is done, I'm adding a layer of my fabric glue, but to make it smoother and faster and more sturdier, I'm also adding those Dollar Tree clips and those worked just perfect. And after all that is done, also we're gonna leave them on a side for an hour until it's all like fully dried. And that's it for this super simple and cute hack. I can't wait after Easter 
to run at the stores and see everything that it's on clearance 90 percent especially those ones to grab more decorations so we can make next year because like you see today i show you out of fabrics out of table runners out of socks we made such a beautiful home decor And here it is my pillow. I made two of them on my family room and I am in love with them. Let me know what do you think if you like them, if you like my creations today. And until next time, my darlings, I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy, blessings and kiss your loved ones and tell them that you love them today. Bye bye.